Hey, it's me, Kara, and this is kind of just came out of nowhere. Um, it's for people who have a bunch of Play-Doh, and you want air-dry clay, but you have Play-Doh brand instead. I've got a whole paper colors, and I need air-dry clay. It's really, really simple, but I don't have everything I need, so I gotta go find something. But it is, so you'll need, that's just the bottom of a plastic cup. There's the bottom, and it's just, just, just cut. And then you'll need school glue, white school glue, that dries clear. And you're going to dump it into the cup. Now, dump about, if you're looking at a normal 12 ounce thing, should be about that thick, barely any, and all around the bottom. Next, you choose the color, and I am going to choose a color that I do not like very much, orange, because then I'm going to try this on a small piece, and yes, doesn't, uh, this thing's never been opened before. Play-Dohs are really hard to open when they're closed. See, it had never been opened before, so I'm not supposed to know what's wrong. I'm just going to take a small piece for right now. And roll it into a, roll it into a ball. I almost said roll it. Roll it into a ball, like so. That's where our star comes in, the glue. So, with the ball, you're going to dip into the glue until you can see a little wad of that white. Now you're going to mold around it. You need to mold it in. And make sure that... Um, so this Play-Doh already kind of dries. If you're doing this, you're probably tensing it up. You're making it harder. To mold. So it's barely even noticeable. I don't think it'll even work. So you're going to dip yourself in again, your Play-Doh in again. Just keep doing that until it feels like two times the original weight. So, sorry for the long gap. I just noticed that it was a long gap and I can't edit that out. So I probably should have been more aware of my things, but this just popped into my mind before I was even thinking. And no, no, I did not steal this from anybody. This is my own original idea. But it will appear a little, um, lighter. Like, this is my original dough. I've got to turn my lamp on. There. Hold them real close. The smaller orb is the original, and the larger orb is the stuff. And I, the original is actually a little darker, but you can't see it in the bleached light. So just keep dipping. Until you feel that this is. quite a thick, dense suggestion. So, I've done three dips so far. This is probably my last dip because it's starting to become sticky. 
I might actually have to add more at the point where it starts to become sticky, so I'm going to do that. You're molding, and it's sticky. And it does lighten a shade. So, look at that. I, the light makes it worse. I know it's for the sake of video quality. Now I have to touch the screen for something, but there's the orange. And here's the other. Can't you see the two-tone mess? That's because of the glue. It's white. One last time. Now remember it has to be either A, slimy, or B, sticky. And it will become sticky. Most likely. But, if you work it hard enough, you won't even know that there's glue in there. It'll be a little more... It also becomes kind of like squishy. You squeeze super lightly, like look. It'll bounce back a little, so it'll become a little squishier, too. Like it'll just squish back. That is when you will... Poor lighting, I know. There we go. Better lighting now. So, that's how you make Play-Doh into air-dry clay. And I did not steal this idea from anybody. I had this 100% my own idea. There's no even YouTube video on how to do this. So, I'm definitely being creative with things. So, I'm just going to make a little dot like the little kind of candy and leave it out to dry which I've modified so that it doesn't it doesn't dry crumbly so mm, definitely if you take out a same sized orb and you put them next to each other they won't appear different really I mean they're not exactly Sorry about that. It keeps saying, want to power off? Want to power off? So here's the original, and here's the glue tinted. So, hope that helps. It will become a little firmer, and this will, this is more squishy than this. That, this is definitely more squishy than this. This is uh, harder to work with, so I wouldn't recommend using it with kids, because Play-Doh is actually kind of hard to squish. For little, little kids, like two-year-olds, and make sure the glue is non-toxic if you're going to give it to your children. See, Play-Doh's already ages two plus, because it is non-toxic, but it tastes terrible and could burn your toddler's salty tongue. Bye! Rate, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to like, please. Bye!